In front of me is a Xiaomi Redmi 8 and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So as you can see the phone in front of me is already locked and without the proper Google account I will not be able to finish the setup. So to bypass this, number one you want to have an internet connection which I already am connected considering you could see uh, the verification page otherwise it would not be there. And once you're connected go back to where you have network right here and what you want to do is scroll down tap on add network and in the SSID you want to type in uh, youtube.com so like so then hold your finger to select it all and tap on the chain link or icon tap on ok and it opens up youtube and here, you want to tap on your, well, not your, but the account icon right here. And go into the settings, tap on about. And from here, YouTube Terms of Service. And we'll give you the option to open it either with the browser or you can choose Chrome. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to stick with this one for now. Tap on I agree and continue. And then here, you want to you wanna navigate into a hardreset.info website. like so let's go and once you are on the website tap on that three bars right here and go into the download category scroll it down and in a download field you want to search for android 8 like so search and there it is so frp bypass Tap on the download, again scroll down and tap on the download right here. Allow. Okay. You'll see that the download has started. And then download successful and you can tap here to view, which will open it. Or you can also tap on the three bars right here and go into manage download. And from here tap on the link or on the app itself. And before we can actually install it, we need to uh, enable that. So allow from this source, enable this, and now we can go back and install. And once it opens, so allow this, or once it's finished installing, we can open it, which right now, tap on open, and we're now in the app. From here, you want to tap on Google Account Manager, uh, Manager APK install and select for version 6.0 and then again we're going to go into settings allow from this source go back and install now this time around once it's finished uh, we won't need to open it we can just go back and we're now back in the app so this time around tap on bypass frp and tap on browser sign in from here tap on the three dots and again choose browser sign in confirm it and here you can log in with your email address and password. Now, if you don't have a Google account, you can always create one. Um, now, it looks like you could do it from here, but I would advise to do it from a computer. It will be just easier. And once you're finished creating an account, you can then go back to your phone and put it in here. Now, I already have an account, so I won't be creating one. I'm just going to use the existing one. Let's go to the next page and I'm going to put in a password. Let's tap on sign in and then it will start signing in. And once it has, it goes straight back to the FRP bypass app. So from here, you want to hold power key and select reboot. Now once the device has rebooted, you will see that the screen previously where it was giving us uh, the, the chance to verify our account will now show that account has been added and it will be the account that we have put in just a second ago. So 
So let's wait for the device to power back on. So from here, let's go to the setup. Now, it doesn't really matter what you choose right here. You just want to go to the setup fairly quickly and gain access to the home screen uh, where from there we will perform another reset of the device. So I just now copy. And you can see uh, account added and it's the account that I have provided right before the reset. I just tap on next. More, except. Next. No thanks. No thanks. Skip. And there we go. So we're now on the home screen. So from here, we're gonna go into the settings, scroll all the way down and go into additional settings. From here, we should see, where is it? Backup and reset. And then we're gonna choose erase all data factory reset. Tap on it. And we're gonna go with reset phone. We need to wait 10 seconds here and 10 seconds on the next page before we can actually proceed. So give it a moment. And there we go. Now we can tap on next. And again, 10 seconds before we can press on the OK. And what this will do now is once we confirm it right now, the reset will remove this account that we have added along with the old account uh, that was blocking us. And after the reset, the device will be then fully unlocked and you can set it up as however you like. So I'll be back once the reset is completed. Okay, so now that the process is finished, let's go to the setup process now. Once more, I'm just gonna go to a quick one, but uh, you will see right from the get-go, once we select the region, um, connecting to network will be completely optional. Now I'm not really setting it up uh, in any special way, but like I said previously, the device is now fully unlocked, so you can connect to Wi-Fi if you wish and do anything else. Um, so number one, you can skip connection to Wi-Fi if you wish to or connect to it. Now, oh, as an example, I'm just going to connect to it. Just give me a moment. And there we go, now I'm connected. So, next, next. Right, skip this step, I don't have a SIM card, so let's go further. Now it's just don't copy. Okay, 
and you can see right here sign in instead of verify so you can sign in if you wish to now for this part i'm just gonna skip this And there we go. So we're now on the home screen and the process is now fully finished. And it, like I said, I'm just repeating myself. You can set up your device as however you like and it will all work just fine. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.